This episode of Animalist News is brought to you by Little Debbie Snacks. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alex Farnham and this is Animalist News. As cute of a movie as Finding Nemo is, it's wrong. You see, clownfish are hermaphrodites. At first, they're born with no gender or sex organs, but eventually they all turn into males during puberty. The biggest and most aggressive male then takes control and becomes a female. That's right, females are the alpha males of the clownfish society. Essentially, these bossy ladyfish stress the males out and prevent them from also turning into females because that would mean competition for her. But when the female dies, the largest male once again turns into a female and takes over her role. The second biggest clownfish then assumes the dad role and protects the younger fish. So really, when Coral dies in the beginning of Finding Nemo, Marlin should have turned into a female and Nemo wouldn't have even been a boy yet. All in all, that's probably a bit too complicated for a seven-year-old to wrap their brains around. What's your favorite Pixar movie? Let me know on our Facebook and Twitter. Mine's probably uh, Toy Story 3, but it was just, re it got really emotional when we were heading towards the furnace because I started to cry because they were, I thought it was, and then I realized that, you know, I'm crying about toys. But it's just like, the thing is, it's just so, it's so beautiful. It's just, I don't want him to die. <laughs> you know? Win a VIP behind the scenes zoo or aquarium experience hosted by Animal Planet's large predator expert, Dave Salmoni. Join Animal Planet and Little Debbie Snacks and dive into a summer of fun.